Hey guys, Captain Paddle and LP here. Welcome to another episode of Paper Mario on the Thousand Year Door. Um, in this episode, and this is going to be a really a post-commentary episode. Granted, I do not know what happened in the last episode, to be quite honest, because this is um, quite in the distant future of where this is going to be. But um, in this episode, we're going to go ahead and do the pit levels 1 through 50 of the pit of the 100 trials now I'm doing this because um, um, I mean, kinda need I wanted to get the strange sack which is basically the item that you get in level 50 and yes I'm going to tell you what it is because I really have no reason not to <laughs> but I get it right here because I am actually well equipped enough to actually go ahead and uh, take it on so, pretty much the case is, on this episode here, um, is going to be dedicated to, um, dedicated to getting the pit, getting that objective. Now, mind you that I'm, this is going to be already being in a speed up mode. Um, all of this episode, and the next episode, and an episode after that. Up to I think probably like for the for like the first ten minutes of the third episode when I do this, um, we will go ahead and do this in a speed up fashion with lots of music playing. And, oh man. But as far as strategy, now I will go over the strategy of the Pit of the Hundred Trials. The pit, the strategy. Of course, it depends on what you come in, based off what your heart, heart points, your flower points, and of course, you know how many, you know, when you do come in, because it is recommended that you do this at the end of chapter five. You know, start the you no know, pit of the hundred trials. I don't necessarily think. You, you really need to wait that late just to do this, but it is recommended that before you get to chapter 5, um, you go ahead and do this, because do this area and get at least to level 50. Now, that's the strategy I play it. So, what you're seeing here is me fighting each enemy as you go down each level. Um, and of course, the enemies get progressively harder with each level that you go down. Now there will be some areas of the um, that you'll have like a free floor, free floor, um, in addition to the one every ten levels. So sometimes you come in to what you call a mover, in which you can either go down to the next level, go down one level. Or go down two levels, or go down five levels, or go back to the entrance if you sh shall need it. So that that's another thing you want to take into account when going down the hundred pit of hundred trials. Um, another thing, when you do go down the pit of hundred trials, you need to keep some things in mind when you do this. Now, granted that this game. You, you kind of go by whatever your strategy is. I think instead of really going, you know, commentate floor by floor, I think you, you probably get this on your own by heating by a couple basic strategies um, that I um, that I come up with. I think the most important one, one, is. Um, Use your guards if you possibly can, so that you can, um, especially the super guard. If you can't do the super guard, you might not be able to do this quite as efficiently in, in terms of preserving your life force. Of course, I mean, always doing the super guard, you know, having that down in addition to your normal guard might be able to actually stave off a couple of these attacks, but, um. The second strategy, I think the next strategies are pretty much what I'm going to go over in terms of how you use your heart points 
your flower points and your star, um, star points and your pretty much your items as well because um, you know it all depends basically how you utilize each of those um, things like I mentioned um, the best thing I can think of is to tell you is make sure your partner is po powered up. I guess that's the basic one. Always make sure your po um, partner is always powered up. Now, also, another strategy is use your badges efficiently. There are some badges that you could use to um, help you get it. Also, uh, use your offense and defense. It'll enhance your offense and defense. But since you're also using your um, um, also have a few, I guess, intermission attack ones. Like if you have your stomps and also your hammer badges. Always keep those in mind. Especially the piercing blow. I think it's always encouraging to have the piercing blow badge activated. So, I guess also, I think another good strategy, have the happy heart, have that been activated, because that will, if you have the happy heart, you will always will have, you know, some refills. But, um, I guess another thing I wanted to bring up, um, some people do, like, low HP runs, which I'm te what technically am doing right now for the first 50 levels. Because when I eventually do this again, um, I eventually come back to the Pit of 100 Trials with much greater um, HP, which is probably not until after Chapter 7 when I actually, you know, which I currently am right now. Because I'm in the current game, I'm post-Chapter 7. So, keeping that all in mind, be sure to not use your items. I repeat, do not use your items unless it is an extreme emergency. I mean, you, you, you may carry a lot of mushrooms or offensive items, but it is always best not to touch those. Unless you really needed to. So, I guess I kind of laid out the basic strategy. Um, I end up, probably will end up doing this Pit of 100 Trials three times. Well, a total of three times. Because one, it, it's also one of the, um, of the, um, Troubles. The Trouble Center. Um, because you'll be required later on to do the first 20 levels again. So, yeah. And then again, and then after Chapter 8, when you finish the game, you'll be required to do it after um, um, level 50. So, yes, you'll be ended up coming back here a couple times. But some do it, you know, do all the troubles, like, you know, all at once. Well, I've seen other LPs just do it all at once, but... I really don't think that's necessary. So, I really have nothing else to add. So, in this episode, remainder of this episode, and the next episode, and at the end of the third episode, I'll re do, I'll probably end up finishing uh, up to level 50. And then I'll, what I'll do is I'll go back with normal commentary as we start, um, re as we resume, uh, the Glitz Pit in Chapter 3. So, I think I've talked long enough. Um, in the meantime, um, there'll be no commentary for the next two episodes until, actually, we get to level 50. So, really, um, I will be playing some music for Mario and Zelda. Some of it's going to be, you know, most of it I think will be dungeon music mostly. So, 
All I gotta say is, um, I'll just see you guys in episode, I think, 29, I think, if I'm not mistaken. If it, I'll, I'll see you whenever I see you. I'll let you know when, let you know what episode I'll resume the normal commentary by posting, like, maybe, like, a um, caption or something like that, but until then, uh, thank you guys for watching, and enjoy the rest of this. Uh, enjoy watching the Pit of 100 Trials up to level 50. See you guys then when we resume Chapter 3.